what's up YouTube how's everyone doing today doing pretty well here thank you for asking well today marks my actually 32nd day riding consecutively get out of the way they're a little fuzzy uh, it has not been easy but I've done it And probably after the ride, we're going to talk about some things. Uh, my bike, what I wear, uh, my maps, you know, my routes and that, and my miles and all these different things. <sighs> so, I'm going to get a little bit of riding footage and nothing too extravagant. I'm just going to get it done and uh, get back home so we can get into the meats and potatoes of the whole thing so let's do this guys how you doing? Yeah, doing good That's how you greet a cyclist. That's how you do it right there. Let's face it guys. Hills are a struggle no matter if they're big or small. Short or long. Don't matter. This is a steady little climb. Nothing horrible, horrible, but still, it's a climb. Alright guys, let me get that out of the way. Always something. Basically today, I'm going to do my route that I call Old Faithful. to my traditional uh, Old Faithful or do a couple of variations off in it. I usually throw a couple of variations off in it just to mix it up and it gives me just a tad more distance. Get up, get out, get red. Do it to it. Guys, here's one of those moments where I'm going to have to use the old street smarts. Nobody coming. The light's not going to turn green because I'm not a car sitting there. So, I take off. Wait for it to get clear and go through. A little bit of advice guys, something that uh, I feel is important to those of us that shoot video on our rides and 
do daily things and we upload them to share with people. Uh, I've heard other uh, cyclists mention, you know, why does someone want to see me ride the same thing every day? You know, and they don't they don't upload a lot of videos. I'm talking to you, Robert, Mr. Robert. He's uh he's one of my subscribers. He's a cool guy, but he don't shoot a lot of video because he's he's mentioned that before. That who wants to see him do the same stuff over and over? Well, my theory is my theory is it's not so much about your ride as it is what story you can tell uh, or you know uh, maybe talk you know something interesting to talk about you know uh, we don't all go on multiple epic rides every week, you know, different places and foreign places and exotic and wonderful locations. Sometimes you're just like me and you're kicking it around town. And having a, a somewhat interesting and decent video is more reliant on what you can bring to it uh, in conversation more so than where you're at. And sometimes people see you talking to yourself into a camera and that's how it goes. That was my challenge for the day. No handed over them big bumps. Okay. Long story short. No matter where you ride, don't matter. Every day, don't matter. Just bring something to the video some sort of discussion or, or just something to, to make it somewhat interesting and you're good whether you get one view or a million more Well guys, that's about all the video I'm going to shoot on this little ride. Uh, I will video more once I get home and we'll go over some stats for the month uh, and some different things from the bike to what I wear to what goes through my mind, all that good stuff. Uh, so as far as this ride goes, I'm going to go ahead and sign out. Everyone, hope you have a great week great month great summer great fourth and all great great greats okay and don't forget get up get out get rad and do it to it we'll see y'all later all right guys i am home done with my 30 day challenge and you are going to hear a couple of dogs barking because we have a dog that likes to bark the neighbors have a dog that likes to bark and you never know, I might start barking too. You never know. So, um, yeah.
right now we're going to get into what I wear 99.9999% of the time on my rides. So let's do that. We're going to start out with a bandana. I wear one on my head pretty much every single ride I do. Uh, it helps kind of control the sweat and uh, it keeps my helmet maybe a little drier and what have you. It just keeps your hair flat and whatever. So I wear a bandana. For whatever reason, that's the reason. Secondly, and this is probably one of the very most important things is my yellow vest. I wear a yellow vest every day unless I happen to wear a bright yellow shirt. Uh, and half the time I forget I've got the yellow shirt on and I end up putting a vest over it. So uh, very good for being seen. Uh, I wear basic t-shirts. I do have some of those that do the wicking of the sweat or whatever. Uh, I do wear those as well. Um, it just depends on what I'm wearing. I'll wear a normal t-shirt or I'll wear something like that. I don't care. Uh, today I've been wearing just a pair of shorts and I got something there. Ugh. They almost feel like swimming trunks. I really don't know the material but they dry off extremely quick. Uh, regular shoes, regular socks. Matter of fact they're cheap little Walmart shoes. My son actually gave them to me so he didn't wear them because they make a weird popping noise when you wear them. So I don't care. I like popping. M matches my knees. Uh, okay. We have normal everyday safety glasses. Three or four dollars at Walmart. We have some bright gloves. I just got these to replace the other gloves that I had. Uh, these came in a pack of three for just under ten dollars. A pair of yellow, a pair of orange, and a pair of black. Wish they would all have been yellow. Chest mount that I made. DIY. That's what I hooked my little camera on. Oh. Helmet. Helmet. Don't know what the name of it is. That's a got some velcro on there for whenever I want to attach certain things. Uh, I do have a little light. So that's basically what I wear every day. Uh, if you watch my videos, you probably see me the same things every day. I rarely change too many of my clothes whenever I'm riding. Uh, just the way it is. Okay. Uh, this part we're going to cover the bike that I'm riding. Riley Redux 1 2016 model. Uh, it's kind of unorthodox to ride something like this uh, every day and the kind of miles, you know, that I ride anywhere from 11 to 15, 20, whatever miles. Uh, I have went upwards of 50 one or so on it. Um, it is a 1 by 8, uh, 11 to 32, and a 40 up front. Uh, most people wouldn't ride this kind of bike like I do. Uh, of course, you do know I got a new wheel with a new cassette, and the new cassette's 11 to 34. So, uh, not that that's going to make a huge difference, but I wanted to try and get a little bit bigger uh, cog, you know, for the rear there. So, Raleigh Redux, got a light, got a light, <sighs> so as far as what I wear and what I ride, uh, that's pretty much it uh, until I'm able to get uh, a decent 
road bike, which I've had to put off. Um, I do have the Trek uh, 7.3 FX 2010 model still, uh, but of course I don't ride that. Still don't have a tire and tube for it, no rear brake, and I'm not going to put any money into it. So uh, I do still have that, and, and I used to ride that a lot as well. So anyways, guys, uh, finishing up this 30-day challenge. It's actually going to be more along the lines of 32 days with probably about 32, 34, probably about 35 or 36 rides total because I did a couple of rides in one day a couple of times there. So uh, we're going to go over all that stuff later. And uh, once I go inside and cool off and get me something to drink and all that, I'll shoot some more video of my Strava and just kind of go over some. Uh, some of the stuff that I've done for the month and all that so all right get ready for that part all right guys just finishing up looking at my stats and everything for the year so far and the month and everything and I'm just gonna show you pictures uh, of my uh, computer screen so as you can see we have 101.6 miles for the week not bad not bad let me take this off so I can see there we go let's get up here so we got 101.6 miles for the week and we'll go to training we'll go to training calendar and Right now we're looking at the hours. So we got 22 hours, 21, 31, 25, 24, 36. Okay, we're going to go to miles. Look here. So we got January, February, March, which I did really well. And I wasn't sure if I was going to pass that or not. And we got April, May, and June. Look at June. 433 miles. So guys, that's kind of what it takes to do uh, some riding. Got to have the motivation uh, be determined and get out there and just get it done not a big deal just do it oh and by the way for the year so far look at that I've got I got 1811 miles and actually uh, Strava messed up and didn't give me 20 miles uh, on two rides uh, it was negative uh, it, they missed like 10 miles on two rides so I've actually got like oh 21 31 about 1831 miles or so if my math is right which is probably not but that's pretty good uh, last year 2018 I only got like 2000 maybe 100 miles all year so I'm already over 1800 miles and we're just halfway through the year so I'm sticking to my goal that I gave myself at the beginning of the year uh, if you go back and watch my video uh, from like January 1st or the very end of December whichever it was uh, I gave myself a goal to just simply do better than I did in 2018 and so far I'm doing pretty well so <sighs> doing pretty good guys I am uh, I'm pretty pleased with it so if I can do it you can do it and uh, you just have to be determined so there you go hope you enjoy the video and like share subscribe comment all that good stuff I do all this for free no monetization no ads do it because I enjoy doing it and I hope that I inspire others to do something uh, 
uh, that they love to do, whatever it is. So guys, don't forget to get up, get out, get ran, and do it to it, and kill it, because you can do it. See you later.